It's a pleasant afternoon in June. Mel and his best girl, Thera, are enjoying a ride. Hey! You're supposed to send out that mail art today. Uh-oh. Perhaps Mel's not such a big shot after all. He's used to this. Don't you have a mail art call to answer, son? I was gonna send it later, sir. Pay for stamps. Won't be any hardship for Mel. A ticket doesn't mean a thing to a phony like that. Remember all you hot riders, special mail art enforcement teams are now on patrol in your area, keeping things moving in precision art circles. Have you posted anything lately? Thanks to our planes, a few cents postage will fly a letter from France to New Orleans. Today, all over our shrinking world, man looks to the skies. The development of new power in the air has brought about terrific speed. This army jet plane can cross America in the same time it took primitive man to journey a few miles. The white American man makes the white American woman maybe not superfluous, but uh, just an, a little a kind of decoration. before have had such a close-up view of the birth of a new mail art movement. Lighting up the desert skies for miles around, the fierce fireball flare is the signal for instant action. Quickly, the men are ordered to leave their positions. The explosion's radioactive fallout is almost as dangerous as the blast itself. The vitally important precaution of dusting each other off, the lowly broom becomes an item of military significance. Next, Geiger counters are used to check the troops for signs of radioactivity. Marching out of the shadow of the ants, awesome fighting men symbolizing male artists' determination to keep strong in a restless world. <laughs> <laughs> 